Hi guys, welcome back to another Henry Johnson Adobe After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm uh, visiting once again the uh, bad VHS look because I thought that tutorial previously from a few days ago was crap and I'd like to make a better one and teach you how to make a better one as well. So I'm sorry for misguiding you in the previous one if um, it didn't seem that well, but here's a new and improved version I feel like. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to After Effects and do Composition, New Composition. My clip is 8 minutes and 15 frames, yours might not be, just make it whatever it is and make it 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, go to Project Panel to get your clip and get that clip. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to duplicate this three times. I'm going to turn my sound off because I just want my sound off. I'm going to call this one R, I'm going to call this one G, I'm going to call this one B for the uh, red, green, blue color scheme that is in all of our pixels. So I'm going to go to shift click these and go to effect, channel, shift channels. Now I'm going to click on red, go full off on everything that's not red except for the alpha. Go to the green and take everything full off that's not green. And the same thing for blue. And use these top two, get the top two ones, red and green, and make uh, the blending mode add. Now we are going to shift click all of these, press P for position, and uh, release uh, the selection. Now you're going to make um, a uh, RGB shift. You may want certain colors to stand out. I'm going to have a green highlight here at the edge. I'll try my best to. Um, it's a little complicated working with these RGB CMYK shifts. Um, I guess this is uh, here. Just keep on shifting until you have what you think is the right look. I don't think I have my right look yet, so I'm just keep. All right. I think that's good enough. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to close all this and we are going to go to layer, uh, actually no, before we do that we're going to, never mind, we're going to click on all of these, go to effect, stylize, motion tile, and we are going to make the output width and height 200 and mirror the edges. So now there isn't these uh, um, red, green, and blue, and uh, cyan, and magenta, and yellow um, edges on the screen. Sorry, I zoomed in. Just, if you ever have to zoom in stuff, if you ever zoom in on accident, you just click fit to fit it back to your screen. What we're gonna do now is we're now gonna go to layer new and adjustment layer. And I am going to now, uh, first we are going to uh, go to distort and we are going to go to bulge and we are going to make the vertical radius 25 and we're going to make the horizontal radius 645 it may not look like a good height right now because we've got uh, a good width right now because we've got this whole widescreen but uh, you'll see it improves. So, because now we're going to go to um, Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile, and we are going to make the output width 60. So now it's a square strip green like on uh, old VHS things. Now we are going to go to Effect, Transition, Venetian Blinds. We're going to make the transition completion 2%. Make uh, the direction 90 degrees and make the width 10 and now we're going to go to effect noise and grain noise make the noise 30 percent and now we're going to go once again to effects uh, stylize and mosaic and we're going to make it 150 by 150 so now it looks like a really old, really worn out VHS clip. And um, 
if you think that the resolution's too low um, on this clip, it's not. It's just it's a pretty bare clip, so it might look that way. But if you zoom up on a person, you can still tell that it's actually a human being with this resolution. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna keyframe the bulge, uh, make it move around like it's a distortion on the TV. And we're going to make the bulge center, uh, we're gonna change the Y axis on the bulge center and make it go up all the way to negative 30. And we're gonna keyframe that. Now we're gonna press U to see that keyframe. And now for one second, it's gonna go all the way down to 11,000, uh, 1105. And on the next keyframe, we're gonna bring it back up to negative 30. I mean on next frame, that's what I mean. Um, the keyframe on the next frame, and then we're going to make it a faster uh, uh, distortion down and make it go back to 11.05, 20 frames later. And you can uh, make your distortion look however you want it to be, it's just, I would, yeah. So, I would follow what I'm doing. And you're gonna do that, now we're gonna make a longer one. Uh, make this one go back to 11.05. Now you can just sort of randomize it. So wait, this is 11.05. So in this right here, we are going to put this here to negative 30. And go a bit further, 11.05. Next keyframe, negative 30. That was, oops, sorry, negative 30. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm sort of having trouble explaining this, but yeah, just after it goes down, make it go right back up there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just almost done changing this. I'm sorry, this is really awkward. Uh, all right. So now that we've got our uh, bulge sort of distorting the TV screen, as you can see right here. You can see that right there, that uh, distortion in the TV uh, VHS thing. And yeah, that's how you create a, um, a bad VHS look, um, a better one than the one that I made last time because my last one was crap. So, yeah, thanks for watching this, and uh, excuse my uh, really uh, long time making the keyframes for the bulge part, and I'll see you guys next time. Cosmic.